I don't think we talk enough about the Holy Spirit, even though, of course, we mention and we honor and we worship the Holy Spirit, that we don't speak sufficiently of this third person of the Trinity. There might be some truth to that. See, when you get in touch with the Holy Spirit, you're getting in touch with the love that connects the Father and the Son. You're getting in touch with the love that God is, and therefore with the very force that gave rise to the universe. So at the risk of sounding a little bit cosmic and grandiose, you're in touch with the most powerful force imaginable. You want power. I mean the real thing. Surrender your life over to the Holy Spirit. Say, Lord, look, it's not what I want. It's not my projects and plans. It's your projects and plans. You will find you will tap into this source of power to change things for good, change things for the better in your life, in your family, in your place of work. Surrender by a conscious act to the Spirit and you unleash this great driving wind.